Congressman Paul, you're a big free market guy, and, and I think a lot of folks respect you for that, but do you not believe that some of these big insurance companies have gotten too powerful in what they can do? Well, yes, this is a consequence of government managed care. So the corporations get involved, the managed health care gets involved, the insurance companies get involved, the drug companies. Who do you think pushed through uh, prescription drug programs? It was, the, it was the drug companies. So I agree, the corporations are out of control, but it's, it's not because it's a market function. There's been no market function. There's been a government mandated function of a government controls this. So right now, do you think this administration is going to take on the drug companies and insurance companies, that's not going to happen. We have a type of corporatism that runs in this world and in this country, and it moves toward a fascist system because government and big business go get in bed together, and it's not free markets at all. The, the free market that I know about existed uh, a long time ago, and uh, things weren't nearly as bad as they are today. Let that's, me tell you. That, that's interesting because it's a double whammy that you're proposing. You're saying, look, the corporations are screwed up because they've gotten too greedy. And and the people who've helped them get screwed up is the government who have really been their right. allies in this. That, that's a, that's it, are, absolutely right, and they still are. They still right, are, and they will be in, in the outcome of this, out, uh, this, uh, this debate. Go Come ahead, on. Debbie. Uh, you're, 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 suggest <laughs> you're suggesting that... You don't that think the corporations, you don't think the corporations work the system? You're going you're gonna to say that government... You don't think they work me, the system? Excuse me. You're, gonna, you're, you're suggesting that the government tells uh, insurance companies that they, they, have, they have to deny people based on a pre-existing condition, that they have to drop, to drop people from insurance coverage because they, when they get sick, that they, that they have to cap damage it, that they have to cap uh, people's insurance coverage annually and for their entire lives. The government doesn't tell, to tell uh, insurance but companies. Wait, we didn't that, have that. That is corporate greed. That is driven by corporate <laughs> greed and corporate greed alone. And we need to make sure that we strike a balance. That's what this health care reform bill is all about. It's about striking a balance because the insurance industry in America, when it comes to health care, has run amok. And we have to get a handle on it so we can establish some balance and from some security and stability for the American people. Yes. You know, when, when the dust settles, if uh, the administration gets what they want, they're going to have 30 million more people, you know, get insurance. The insurance companies love this. I mean, it'll be subsidized by the government. The government's going to have to subsidize this, and and the bit and and the corporations aren't going to be complaining. Yeah, they'll complain now, and they might take some rules and all, but they're going to be very happy when all these people have to pay, and the government's behind this. So this this but, but the math, but, 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 but wait a minute. Thing. But hold on, More Congressman. We're going to get hold our on. deficits under control. Well, but hold on a minute. <laughs> hold on a minute, the, the Congressman. The math does not support your argument. Never before in the history of the United States has more money been spent by one industry on one particular legislation to try and influence it. They have spent upwards of $400 million in lobbying fees and ads, etc., to make sure this reform is defeated. If that's the case, why in the world would they, quote, love it, as you say? Well, they, they will, because they'll get something out of it but if you're really wanting to get some competition you know allow the insurance to be sold across uh, state lines do something with tort reform because That's good. That's believe me bill. the number we of tests that. yeah yeah really <laughs> we'll see <laughs> the, attorneys the, the, the attorneys aren't going to allow that. And you know, the, the, the attorneys run this place up here. We'll but, leave it at uh, that. It's not likely to happen. We'll, we'll leave it at that because we're out of time. But I enjoyed the discussion and I learned from both sides. Thanks. I appreciate it, Congresswoman Thank from you. the Sunshine State. And thanks, uh, Congressman Ron Paul, my thanks to you <laughs> Thank as you. well.